Okay, um, so creating the back brace on the thopter, I didn't have a template to <laughs> go by, so I had to make my own. I have a template of an anime, but I refuse to use it. I want to use my own kind of way of thinking. So in this proportion of here, I have the guides for each part for the guides. This is a double, like a latch, of the collar. The following part of the back brace. This is the following. This is a double part. These are sandwiched like a latch alongside one side and the other side. And they are in this guide right here, this guide bracket that I made so it allow it to shift up and down and also hold it in place. However, this being made refabricated from paper on from paper to titanium. Titanium sheets that are bent and deformed into this kind of gorge. Now, when I do that, I'm gonna put a coil bearing localized within. So they will react, so these will, it's just holding parts that I made for paper, but it's going to be used with uh, solenoid coils. In between the folded, I'm going to have springs and a damper rubber. The damper rubber will allow, like a coil bearing, localized around on this side of the base, which this part is separated by a spring, by a, a distance, will cause vibration for it to to wave, to wag, like up and down, to oscillate, like a vibrator. This part together, while the coil bearing localized here was in the electrical energy, it caused the vibration to like a uh, hair cutting clippers uh, mechanism with inside. So these parts that are separate from each other, and I'm going to pit apply a diamagnetic between coupled to the bracket, so that on the bracket it'll be diamagnetic. So when the coil bearing right here which would not infringe over here, and I'm going to have a diamagnetic so pulse to move it. Vibration of this set stack. So these are all separate, enabling them to order resize, to move upward, to move downward, to order resize its size, of, which is the lower part of the bottom. This part that I'm going to make an electrical circuit with the, uh, with the coils, so I can allow a little wire to hang out which will be the emitter, like uh, electron candle, electronic flame. And I'm going to send that out from here, and that's going to look like a, and appear like a, like a thruster. Thus, titanium and aluminum is going to be coupled together, which will make it diamagnetic or repulsive behavior to allow it to levitate as a fly. Because the solenoids are coupled to the side, it causes it to go up in a linear motion. Vibrations will allow it to uh, hover as a hummingbird or as a bird. But yes, this is how the Iron Man system is done. These are separate colors, separate sides. They all can move separate from one another. And that's how the system works. My name is Jermaine Morton. And doing the vibranium, <laughs> vibration titanium, goodbye. Fly Morton, I'm high important. Yacht so exhausted. Trying to catch up to Bob Morton. I'm so exhausted. So exhausted about bedrock. Hypersonic, bulletproof, tank wear, invisible mode like I ain't here. Hard rule, no, it ain't fair. Gotta go by, robot, biotic ain't with all those shots. 200 knockoff speeds on the drop, circuit vision, my yammy. Photo blue more than can me. Holla up, you understand me? Can you really jack my son? I got a speed boxer, do do jitsu, wing chung, bee bum, bing bum.